Of all the seasonal weekly animes I'm watching right now, I think Loser Ranger takes my number one spot for the most interesting or at least the more immersed I am into the plot. It is so refreshing to see a story that revolves around the heroes being bad and the villains being good. The Dusters are basically being oppressed right now due to the act of what happened a long time ago and the Dragon Keepers pretty much like killed their bosses and now we have this like contract where every Sunday we put on this show for capitalism, make more money the Rangers win and the Dusters lose. And when they lose, they get reconstructed back to the floating island. But the reconstruction also, I didn't realize, we can take the shape of other people if we see them, right? So that's very interesting. The eyes don't change, right? You can see the Dusters keep their, you know, pitch black eyes with like a little white circle. Other than that blonde girl, who I think is also a Duster, but she doesn't have the identical pupils like, you know, us. So I don't really know. At the end of the episode, we got to actually see the Divine Artifact being used because in the actual show, on the Sunday show, they're not going to actually use the Divine Artifact, right? That's just all for show, I think. But the one that the Red Keeper used, the whole transformation, the way he goes Henshin, and then he uses Divine Artifact, it goes so fucking hype. And the way that, you know, I what was his name? Was he F? It was F, right? Fighter F. The way that he was like, you know, having like a monologue and acting like this is I'm going out on my own terms. I actually almost got emotional. Shit was getting teary eye, bro. Makes me want to get revenge against these guys. So let's see what's going to happen in today's episode, though. Right after the incident of the Divine Artifact being used against Fighter F. Damn, the animation for the Divine Artifact and the transformation went crazy. Because they never seen the real Divine Artifacts. The Divine Artifact also? The design was very creepy. It was all like flesh and I think there was like even tooth or something, right? The Red Keeper sword. But the divine artifact that they show on Sunday show, it's like a like a fucking robot beam weapon that's kind of marketable towards kids, right? So that's kind of interesting too. Einkrad, 12 years ago. Die or live <laughs> under us. Look at it, it's all bony. Coexist. Sure. Wait, you know? Wait, wait, did I... Did, did, wait, wait, wait. This is him making a blind guess based on his reactions to F dying and now he's assuming you must also be a monster, right? Last episode, there was nothing that it showed me that he knew, but now he's just fucking jumping. He's basically just like guessing, right? Our evil will bloom someday. <laughs> oh, he was eavesdropping. Oh, when she was on top of us like that. Why don't you join us? But what is justice? Who defines what justice is? Why are they the good people? Why are we the bad people? You know who defines justice? The people that won the war and rewrites history to make themselves look good. Justice, evil, good and bad, that is all relative towards who the ruling class is. This guy's brainwashed. But then again, we might be too. True. 12 years of oppression. I thought he was gonna say kaiju for a second. What? Huh? What are you fucking talking about? You, I, I pass? But I, you just, you just confronted us that we're a monster, and we said I'm a monster. That pass? Why? You, you, for all rangers to join, they have to admit that they're a monster. Change from within. <laughs> Fuck your hand. This guy's interesting. And that's exactly why he passed the test, because you and I are enemies. And he's like, yeah. And then we can change the org from within so that we can actually coexist. Maybe he's onto something. Damn. Dusts away <laughs> with that one line. That was kind of cool. I'm sure he's the only one that actually feels this way in the org. I wonder, because like, how many of them are just like religious zealots that just worship the dragon keepers? And how many of them are actually thinking like him? And maybe Suzune and thinking, you know, maybe there's a different Suzuki and maybe thinking there's a different way to change the orc from within. Oh, it's her again. Hello. 
ったら切り捨てる、hmm. 悪いな怪人なもん She's also a monster, I think You're getting a little too comfortable around this, aren't you? Hoi! Cut her head off too! Mimicry mechanics of the dusters. I think she's more of a monster, dude. There's something so scary about her pitch black eyes. It's just so unsettling. She's so mysterious. What the fuck is she? Use the Divine Artifact against them. Okay. Divine Artifact lore. Cheat items, divine, whatever divine powers are, okay? If we can wield it, can we use it against the keepers? Get rid of the Divine Artifacts? So instead of, I was thinking like, use the Divine Artifacts against them. But it's like, if we somehow steal it, and we like, destroy it somehow, or get it off their hands, they can no longer, you know, fight us, right? Hmm. <laughs> Does he sleep with it? <laughs> <laughs> the Sunday show, right? The Sunday show, because they don't bring their actual divine artifacts to the show. So when it's showtime, that is the day to strike. But they must have it hidden away in some kind of safe. Alright, Sunday show again. Here we go. So, like, we should be able to transform into a keeper. And during the Sunday show, while people are busy, we can infiltrate and then find the divine artifact and get out. I feel like that's what you're doing. Is she? I feel if she is a duster, she's exactly what she's talking about. Blend in and do some spy activities. But based on how she's talking, I don't think she's a duster. The only reason I think she's a duster is just because of the, the black eyes, but the eyes aren't even matching either. I don't know. She might just be a regular human that just has ulterior motive. Hmm. Into a chair? You want me to you guys sit on us? Where are, you, where are you going with this? You want the rivals to win? Okay, she's tired of the same meta script. She wants the villains to win. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I thought last episode he was not able to change the eye color. And I thought that was the one thing that distinguishes, you know, the, the dusters in human form versus the actual humans. So now, that's fake news. He can actually have the whole eye change too. I think? I don't know. Maybe just a visual thing. Who knows? <laughs> they all disobey him. What the fuck was that? Wait, wait, wait. There was some kind of animal there. What the, there was some kind of dragon thing there. Oh, it's that clown. This is that clown again. What's up, boy? Go on your lunch break. <laughs> I'm back. Go on your lunch break. Pretty lax about this. Wait! I mean, that's where the money comes from. Bro just wants to kill. I hope he keep up that maniac attitude of just wanting to kill monsters. He's still suspicious, right? So he's like finger constructed into the key to match that, to open the door, huh? You're gonna put the divine artifact in the same place you put golf clubs like no shot this looks like a random fucking pe equipment storage there's no shot like even the way that the red keeper you know showed his divine artifact before he released it it wasn't like the special covering right no shot he just stores it away in this fucking with his extra golf rack uh, golf clubs <laughs> Really? Are they just that loose? No. You smell them? Kunka, <laughs> Kunka, yeah, that's how you disturbed him. He was different. What do you mean you were smelling him, bro? Sussy. The real red wouldn't have died. Oh, 
Fuck. Let me finish my line, god damn it! The fucking gun. We're still immortal though. Really? That was kind of a profound line. But like, you're gonna run out of bullets. You're not killing him. He's gonna just keep coming back. He can't use this. Okay, important mechanics to know. Because Red Keeper did say some kind of special like line, right? There's like a name technique when you use this. So can other keepers also use it? I don't think this is a real artifact. So let's have that in mind before he even uses it. Oh. Bye bye! <laughs> yeah, you kept shooting our head, bro! Fuck heart to heart. No. Bomb. Boom. Yeah, apparently the fear of death makes you grow. The golf club! The golf club! Yeah! No, show me more! Show me more! Well, we didn't get to see if he could use a Divine Artifact, so we don't know if other Keepers can use a Divine Artifact. And also, is this even the real Divine Artifact? Did he actually start blushing from the ASMR compliments from Suzukiri? You did really well. Good boy. Good job. <laughs> Stop praising me! <laughs> okay. You got a reward? Wait, wait, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, it's Keeper! Um. Um. Uh, what do we do about this, bro? I mean, we got the Divine Artifact, right? Can we use it? Can we use it? We're just swinging it. We're not even using it. Red Keeper's too, bu too good, bro. Base strength wise, he's just better, huh? Huh, so you can do stuff like this, huh? Like, the arm just like extends because of through dust. Okay. We can do like long range attacks. Okay. Oh, don't give me a home run. No, don't do it. Are you serious? Wait, what the fuck was that? It was the fucking thing. It, 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 was, it was the bat, right? It was, it was the pipe that he threw with it and then it fucking sliced us? Maybe something else? Someone else is here? It, it is, it actually is, I'm sorry. He's, he's insulting us! But compliment- I don't know! Red Keeper is just too goddamn fucking smooth! The roast session. You shouldn't have said that. <laughs> There's no one to watch to farm. What is our role? Oh shit, the audience has shown up! He's now gonna do the thing! Henshit! Bro will only make content if there's an audience there. Oh, whoa, 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 what the fuck? What the, what the fuck is that? I think that was just a cool way to just like, you know, show what's going on. That wasn't actually Red Keeper or anything, right? I think it would have made even more sense in the manga as like the pages are ripping as he gets out. Cap, no, cap, 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 cap. No, he's probably gonna say this and then the helicopter people, the newspaper people are gonna be like, Oh no, Red Keeper has been nerfed. How is he gonna win this? And then the kids in the TV screen be like, go play. And he's gonna like, oh, for my fans, I'll get up and divine artifacts. Motherfucker. He's milking it. He's milking the content. Oh, wait, Blue? Blue actually scares me uh, more sometimes. He just looks more cruel. It's 5v1 now. 
He's too good at making himself look like a hero. Pink Ranger remembered. A pink Ranger remember though. A pink Keeper. This is Blue's Divine Artifact. It's like a big ass lance. But even this, it looks all bony, huh? There's this like theme of big bony weapons. What is it made of? Whose bones are these? <laughs> Dude, this is content saturation, right? It's, it's viewer fatigue. If you keep giving them the same type of content, you gotta switch it up, right? Or else people get bored of it. It's like, they're even thinking about like, shit, we gotta keep it exciting for the audience. All right, blue with divine artifact today. <laughs> They're constantly innovating, man. The content strategy is pretty good. Plot twist? Wait! Plot twist?! Nah, fuck you. Fuck you. Nah. Red Keeper doesn't miss them. Red Keeper does not miss a beat. He's like, all right, come with us. No, okay, kill him. Yep, done. Done. Red Keeper low-key funny. There we go. Wait, we can't... The fuck? What? Blue Divine Artifact makes us turn into a balloon? What the fuck is this? They're sticking the pose. Wait, but that, that that's the blue that's the blue artifact, right? So he should be dead. The blue divine artifact, you touch it, we turn into a balloon and we just pop? That's the entirety of the blue artifact? Okay, but it doesn't make sense for us to die right now, so I'm gonna expect there's a plot twist. Red Keeper's Divine Artifact is way cooler than Blue Keeper. You were covering my face during the pose. Come on. That's what they're fucking worried about. It's actually... I gotta respect the hustle. Everything is for the show. They're literally fighting over the thumbnail right now. That's what it is. It's like, bro, the thumbnail. You could have positioned the face a little bit more. What are you fucking doing? That's right. Thumbnails are important. That's right. Impression click-through rates. Okay. Red's still here. They might try to actually switch up the content now? Wait! Cuz he can reconstruct not just into human forms, but also a chair. Remember how Suzuki said he turned into a chair, sit on me. So he swat he that was a that, that, that was that was a, that he made that shit up. So he made a divine artifact. So when did he switch it? Where's the real one though? Where is the real one? He got hit with the ball. Wait, 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 This is a real main character, Suzukiri, then? Wait, wait. Wait, did... <laughs> What? But, but D! I guess he never fucking had a name. He was just D. What? What a plot twist! Dude, even in the ending of this, right? Near the ending, what do we see? We see D changing into this guy, right? So I thought, like, this was fucking important. Like, he is the main character. But... <laughs> Okay, I guess D is dead and that's the fucking episode. Maybe it's another plot twist and he somehow survived, but it's looking like he's actually dead. And wait, is there a plot twist? Wait, 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 post credit scene? Who's this? Blue Squadron, not responding. Some random dude, I'm- No, oh, what the fuck, he got shot. Who the fuck is that, bro? Who the fuck? Who? Ah! Is it Moss 
Monster bosses are alive? Monster bosses are no. Sh it, it looks like a dust trip. Dude, there. So there's another faction of people hunting down these keeper. What? Oh wow, this show just went to a different direction, bro. I what the fuck? What the the main character is not even the main character. We got the divine artifact. There's other new end bosses here. Whoa! Wow! This this show actually keeps impressing me. This show actually keeps impressing me. Nothing is what I seem it, it is to be. Well, the divine artifact was actually real, but we made a clone of it. D is done. D stands for done. I thought that bro was gonna go the long fucking distance, but D is sticking around. What the? F Sorry, D is not sticking around. And the main character is actually Suzukiri, I guess, huh? And and I I, I guess maybe to a certain extent, this guy as well, right? I, I Maybe he is important too, but like, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I, this show needs more fucking recognition, bro. More people need to start fucking watching this. This is pretty fucking good. I, I, I love how the keepers still stick to the whole thing of like, we just, you know, there's a battle happening, but they're worried about more of the fucking thumbnail of the video. They're worrying about the poses and stuff, the shit like that. But on top of that, the, the fucking plot twist of like, D is not the main character. Suzukiri seems to be, and maybe this guy as well. And Suzukiri, what did she have to at the very end, right? Her goal is to basically collect four more divine artifacts. And when the rest of the four divine artifacts are, like, you know, uh, secured, I'm not sure if they're going to create, like, an ultimate divine artifact. My thinking is, like, we're just trying to steal it so that they don't have a tool to use against the dusters, right? That's the most intuitive action. But maybe there's something more when we collect all five and shit like that. We still don't even know if other dusters can even use it because as soon as the clown was about to use it, the Walmart Joker guy, you know, we killed him, so we well, we, we, well, we, yeah, we pretty much just like hit him in the face with the bat, right? So there's still mechanics that we don't really know about, but damn, today's episode fucking cracked as usual. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.